Alba lives just across the street from the Stanislaus River. He says these pictures taken by Riverbank police say a thousand words. Years ago, it used to be a nice beach to go fishing at with some of these families who lived here for a while. And nowadays with the fence up and everything, it's just, you know, it's just trash. The images were posted to the police services Facebook page showing what they say is criminal activity and other public hazards associated with homeless people illegally camping along the river. It just keeps getting worse, you know. The cops did a clean up not too long ago along with the Army Corps of Engineers and it just seems like they keep coming back little by little. Deputies tell me they've seen a rise in burglaries, robberies and thefts. A man was arrested here back in June for murder and just last week deputies discovered open earth pits full of human waste, trash, and trees chopped down for firewood and shelters. It's over here is peaceful, but over there, no, it's chaos. Stacy Boyd lives in a homeless camp farther down the river. I don't have much. I just have. She no told business. me she moved you here know. two weeks ago to get away Got from like all this. I just ran a guy off up top right now. <laughs> told him to get out of here. I don't want them ruining it for me here. Stacy's friend Jesse tells me they choose to live here because they have nowhere else to go. It's quiet, peaceful. I have trouble going to sleep without the sound of the river. So, but, I mean, it, it's hard sometimes, you know, especially in the winter, but, um, I always seem to make it through. They're now concerned they'll have to pick up and leave once again because of the problems upstream. There seems to be a lot of problems up river. <laughs> a lot of problems. There's always something going on there. That's why I'm down here and I stay away. Meantime, back up the river, Alba says he just wants all this mess cleaned up. It's a pretty trashy. In Riverbank, Linda Muma, KCRA 3 News.